Hey yo, what's up guys and welcome to another China phone tutorial and today I want to show you how to flash a new ROM to your China phone with the SP flash tool. So you will need for this only a USB cable, your phone and a Windows computer. So for you guys who don't know for what you need this, with the SP flash tool you can flash a new ROM or a custom ROM to your phone or you can even unbrick phones. And now I'll show you how to do it. Ok guys, so we're now on the computer and before you can start the flashing process you need to download several files. So first you need to download the USB drivers. And the USB drivers are the most important thing because the computer needs the USB drivers to successfully recognize your phone and without the USB drivers you can't flash your phone. Then you will need the SP flash tool, so this is the program we will use to flash the phone. And then you will also need a working ROM for your phone. You can find it on the internet, but be sure to take a ROM which fits your phone to 100%. Okay, so now I'll show you where to get all this stuff. So I've created a new website which is chinadevices.com and I will show you this website here right now. And it's a forum where you can register and there's a lot of stuff in there like tutorials and much more. And here you can also find the latest downloads for the USB drivers and the SP flash tool. So therefore just go to the phone tutorial section and here you can find a written guide for the SP flash tool. You can find the driver download, you can find the latest SP flash tool download and also several guides. And I would be really happy if we could get some more members here and build up a huge community. And also if you have a problem, feel free to register post a new thread and describe your problem and I will try to help you as soon as possible. And it's also much easier to answer you guys here on the forums than on YouTube because the comment system is really fucked up. So if you need a ROM you can go to www.needrom.com and this is a really great website. So here you can search for your phone like the number one S6 and mostly you also find a ROM which fits your phone. But if you can't find a ROM here on needrom.com, then you have to use Google or write the new thread on chinadevices.com and I will try to find a ROM for your phone. And as you can see, you have to be logged in in order to download the ROM. So you have to register at needrom.com, then log in and download the ROM. And also be sure that the ROM you want to download is able to be flashed with the SP flash tool. Otherwise we have to convert it and I will show you this in another tutorial. Okay, so now let's get started. When you have downloaded all this shit, then you have to extract it. So you have to have WinRAR on your PC and then you can just do a right click on it and go to extract here. If you don't have WinRAR, just go to winrar.com and download and install it. Then do a right click on the zip file and go to extract here. So this will give you three folders. So we have now the USB driver folder, the SP flash tool folder and also a folder um, with the ROM. And now let's take a look at the ROM folder. And the ROM which can be flashed with the SP flash tool should look like this. So you should have several files and you should also have a scatter file. If you don't have a scatter file, you have to create it on your own with MTK Droid tools. And I will show you this in the next tutorial. But um, be sure to visit chinadevices.com for a written guide. Okay guys, so now let's come to the most important part. Let's install the drivers. On Windows, just go to Start and Control Panel. Here in the Control Panel, go to System. And here at system you go to device manager. Okay, so now we can close system and now just leave the device manager open and just move it to the right. And now be sure to know where you have placed your drivers folder because this is now important. And now we have to connect the phone without battery to the computer because um, if you connect it without battery to the computer, it starts to load up the MTK preloader. And now it should say installing device driver software and you should see the MTK65XX preloader here. Now do a right click on it, go to properties and go to update driver. And after this, you have to go to browse my computer for driver software. And then you have to go to half disk and then just point to the folder which is on your desktop which contains all the drivers. But the driver is already installed on my system. So this is why I don't have to do it right now. And um, if you have problems because the MTK preloader is not showing up, try a different USB port or try this tool. It's USB DView. The link to it is also in the description. And here you can search the list for the MTK preloader. It's right under the description. And then you can do a right click on it and uninstall the driver. But you only have to do it if the MTK preloader is not showing up in the device manager or if you have problems with installing the um, driver software. So here we have the preloader. Now just uninstall it and then just reconnect your phone without battery and then the MTK preloader should pop up. So let's try this. And there we go. 
And now be fast, do a right click on it, go to properties, driver, update driver, and then just point to the driver on your computer and just hit the next button and then the drivers should install. Okay, so now we should see MediaTek Preloader USB VCOM ports um, successfully installed and ready to use. And now you can close um, the device manager and also this pop-up here. And now we have to run the SP Flash tool to flash our phone. So just go in the SP Flash tool folder, which we have right over here. And before we do this, a little warning, be sure to take a correct ROM for your phone because flashing a wrong preloader can break your phone. So now we have to enter the SP Flash Tool folder. Here we have the flashtool.exe file. Now just do a right click on it and run it as administrator. Okay, so we're now here in the SP Flash Tool. Let's make it a little bit bigger. And here um, we, on the right, we have scatter loading. So you have to click at it and load up your scatter file, which should be in your ROM folder. Now just point to the folder which contains um, all your ROM files and there we go. And here we also have the scatter file. If you have created one on your own, point to this scatter file. Now just go to open and now you should see a list of all the files which will be flashed to your phone. But be sure to untick preloader because a wrong preloader from a wrong ROM can break your phone and then you can't flash it anymore. So this is just for safety reasons. And this is why you also have to use a correct scatter file because the scatter file tells the SP flash tool where it has to flash all the blocks on your phone. Okay, so now hit download or press the F9 button and just ignore this warning, press yes and then connect your phone to the computer without battery. And after you have connected it, wait one or two seconds and then just reinsert the battery. And then just wait until the flash process is finished. So don't disconnect it, don't turn off your computer and don't touch it. Just wait until you can see a green circle. Okay, so when you see the green circle, the flashing process was successful and you can exit the SP Flash tool and safely disconnect your phone. And I've speeded up the whole process, so this took about um, 5 minutes, so just be patient and don't remove it. And now we'll take a look at the phone and let's see if the flashing process was really successful. Okay, so now let's start the phone for the first time and usually the first boot takes a little bit longer, so this can take up to 5 minutes. Just be patient and don't remove the battery. And what I forgot to say is you can also flash parts of the ROM. So for instance, if you want to flash only the recovery, then just untick all the other stuff. Untick the preloader, only tick recovery, press F9 or download mode, connect your phone to the computer, wait until it is finished, and then you have a new recovery ROM on your phone. Okay, so now let's just wait until the phone um, has booted. Uh, there we go. And also if you have a problem with your phone or with the SP Flash tool, feel free to post a new thread on chinadevices.com and I will try to help you as soon as possible. So as you can see, the phone is working and this was my tutorial on how to flash your phone with the SP Flash tool. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have questions, visit chinadevices.com and as always guys, thanks for watching.